on my way to help out a fellow reefer in his time of need right now his 90 gallon split i had my 40 gallon breeder tucked away in the garage i'm on my way to my friend's house and i'm gonna go help him out tim is no stranger to reefing he has a 120 i did the video on that and i also did a video on his 93 gallon cube unfortunately the 93 gallon cube is the uh, tank that he's having a little bit of issues with we're gonna go ahead and move the tank and uh save his livestock and coral thank you Hi. <laughs> Oh, you can see it now. There it is, right there. Uh, um, this is they they uh they come with a, a warranty. You bought it. So what we have in, It's been a couple of years though. Uh, no, these tanks have a lifetime warranty. It's a uh, Marine Land or Aquion, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see the fish. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I wouldn't even bother re trying to reseal this. Just want to see if I stop the loop for now. Was it a fast leak? Huh? Was it a fast leak? Yeah, it was. It just, it just started spraying out of there. At least you're home. Holy crap. It just let loose there. Then I guess it probably started appearing and the more pressure got it. Just, it's the silicone. Silicone just let loose. Did you save your rest? Yeah, I just finally got both of them out. I think I got everybody. No, I got everybody. About nine, nine fish. <laughs> There's two shrimp in that back in here somewhere. <laughs> That's crazy. Down in there somewhere. Wow. I'm glad you were home. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> everything always happens when you're gone, huh? <laughs> I'm scared, you know. Yeah. Well, out of here, it's scared. There's a lot of what? Yeah, 90, yeah, 90 right gallons. Here. And then you got that new pump, right? Or what pump do you have on there? Yeah. The so Cora died here. Vectra, yeah, well, Look, Cora here, you know. Yeah. Hey, you just like. You don't know what to do first. I'm like, ooh, turn off the pump, turn off the pump. <laughs> yeah, you have all your Apex stuff and. So, let's move this. Yes. No, this one don't have any wheels. So it's just one that I had. Uh, an extra one. You're gonna move it over there? I was like, you know I'm putting this on YouTube. Uh -huh. You know I'm putting this on YouTube. Oh, man. <laughs> Brought over the 40 gallon. I was gonna sell it. Catch your breath. I know it's sad. Try you, to you can get most of your, your stuff on here. And if you really want to plumb it, I brought the overflow and all that. Uh, for now, I just. I'm glad you were home because. That'll take forever, too. Yeah, let me get this. <laughs> Got that. Is this 40? Plenty of room. We're not going to run a sump. So we just tighten up the 
plumbing is there though in case he does want to use the sump later on but for now She knows what happens when it leaks. So. And I'm scared because I have a, a 180. I have a six. Like, like his old tanks are bigger. I have a bigger thing. I'm scared if that thing leaks. Yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have do you have GFIs on your stuff? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have GFIs? No. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is not good. I don't know what's... Your corals are good though. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you could do now is that. Yeah. At least it's not like uh, these things. Oh man. Uh, his wife was running around in high heels with broken glass all over the house. Just oh. throw that. Those are the only shoes she could do. Yeah, that would be bad. Oh, okay, there's your shirt. Well, how did he show up? I he's thought he was... Oh, yeah, he's in there. There's another one in there. Oh, you can just stay in there and do it. Yeah, they owe you a new tank. <laughs> You got any more water in that one? Okay. You got any more water in that one? Panic too. Oh, the green Monty. Snails. Oh, snails. Oh, yeah, you got more water in there. Let me move this closer. Still on it. I had water hit this, uh, so I want to unplug this. What's that? I had water hit this.
Quindi Almost there. Flow here and just move your light. So it's crazy because um, this is a 40. So that, that means at least 50 of your gallons went all over the floor. I do, I do. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> ah, I know. Thank you very much. No, I uh, no? I uh, I spilled it oh, and okay. it went on the floor. Oh, okay. I spilled it and then I I, I wet that electric uh, uh, thing. So I will don't don't plug this in, Tim. It's already plugged. Uh, I'll take it off. I I think I unplugged it from the wall right here, the back wall. Okay. Yeah, cause I sprayed it with water. I sprayed it with water right now. Next, we got you got the heater in there. A lot of this video is just recovery. The first thing that Tim did was remove all his livestock. He removed all his livestock, put it in a separate tank. It's something that you need to think about having. Okay, he had an innovative marine 10 gallon, put all his fish in there, and uh, the next thing is water. Got a water pump, pumped all his water that he could save into two containers. If you do not have a container uh, large enough, you need to think about that and buy some brute containers, something that's going to be able to hold a good amount of water. Brute containers typically will hold up to 34 gallons of water. Okay, um, it's not. You might want to have one or two more than more than that. Something large enough, um, so that way you can have a backup. We also didn't move over the sand. Um, sand is not a big deal in this issue. Um, he can save it there, rinse it out later on and clean it so that he can reuse it for his tank. Um, but the, you do want to look for like snails. If you have a wrasse, you for sure want to check your sand bed because most definitely the uh, wrasse is going to be under there hiding. Um, and this tank is a 40 gallon breeder. We drilled it. Um, we're not going to run a sump on it. That's why the uh, pipe is like that. And uh, so we don't need to fill it all up. But you can see this you need to think about a contingency plan so that way uh, in case disaster hits you need to take care of it fortunately he had some power heads um, he's going to move over his radion later on uh, but the way that the RMS arm was it was too heavy for the little brace right there um, but he is going to get it going he's going to be back in reefing um, hopefully and also with a uh, hang on back overflow hang on back um, filter uh, will be good to move this tank. Not necessary, but at least the heater, guys. You can see where the seam clearly broke. You should not be able to do that. Um, I'm glad that the glass didn't break at all. And uh, this is a Marine Land 93 gallon cube. So, brand new tank, bought it brand new. Everything on this tank was brand new and it still uh, failed. Gave away on that silicone, guys. So, just be careful. Think about it. Maybe think about putting a camera on your system. And uh, this could have been a lot, lot worse if uh, my buddy Tim was not home. Him and his wife did a great job. 
and uh, I'm just here to help out when I can.